Hello everyone, I am Shivam Singh Aswad from Integrated MSc Physics, uh, IIT Roorkee and for the course PHN 310 that is Applied Instrumentation, uh, I am here to present on the topic Seismic Sensors. Okay, So what, what are Seismic Sensors? Seismic Sensors are uh, basically sensors that sense the vibrations on the surface of the earth or on any surface that uh, the sensors are placed on. So these sensors are typically used to measure, uh, to quantify the vibrations occurring on the surface of the earth due to a natural phenomena like earthquake uh, or due to human activities such as mining, constructions or any explosion that may cause, uh, that may cause the earth's crust to vibrate. how seismic sensors work so the basic principle behind the working of a seismic sensor uh, is basically based on the operation of either velo velometers that is velocity measuring transducers or accelerometers that are acceleration measuring transducers so uh, when the ground shakes that is when the when there is a relative motion between the uh, between the ground and uh, mass uh, mass at rest or when there is an acceleration between the same then we can record these uh, vibrations by using a typical spring mass system that I have shown in this GIF so basically when the ground vibrates then this mass due to inertia uh, more or less for, for the very small time remains at rest and if the acceleration is high enough then there will be these uh, squiggly lines on the paper that is rotating and uh, the seismic activity will get recorded okay so as i've told you there are two types of seismometers or uh, seismic yeah. sensors the first one is acceleration based sensors and the other one is velocity based sensor so first of all i'll talk about acceleration based sensors so as the name suggests these sensors measure the change in velocity or the rate of change of velocity and uh, record the same so uh, for these types of sen sensors we use a typical spring mass system and the inertia of the spring uh, causes the mass to remain at rest uh, and the deflection uh, the compression or extension of the uh, spring due to the movement or the acceleration of the ground with respect to the mass causes a reading uh, in the graph so or uh, okay so typically we use as a digital acceleration based measurement device we use a piezoelectric transducer which is a pl uh, which is sandwiched between a mass and the uh, and the surface beneath so when whenever there is some acceleration on the surface of the earth the piezoelectric material gets compressed and it generates the corresponding voltage signal corresponding to that compression so we get a reading corresponding to the acceleration that's caused the piezoelectric material to get compressed and thus uh, to the uh, uh, we get a reading corresponding to the vibration that is occurred on the surface of the earth so this is a basic design schematic of an acceleration based seismic sensor so th there is this mass that is placed uh, on the crystal on the piezoelectric crystal and the crystal has been placed on the on some base so when whenever there is a movement in on the earth's surface there is some shaking or vibration this mass due to inertia uh, more or less remains at the same position but this base moves this vibrates with the uh, vibration of the earth's surface so this uh, piezoelectric crystal also gets compressed uh, due to the vibration and this causes some voltage signals uh, that are generated at these two terminals 
and gets recorded. So this is the simple working of this acceleration based seismic sensor. Now we have velocity based seismic sensors or velometers. In these sensors we make use of something that is uh, some transducers for which the output is uh, in response to the velocity uh, and to between the relative velocity between a body at rest and a body at, uh, in motion that is generally the earth surface. So one of the very uh, simple and most elegant uh, transducers com that comes to mind is electromagnetic wave sensors. So what, what we do here is we take the same spring mass system and instead of calibrating it with respect to stretch in string we calib we wrap some coils around the uh, around the mass and we place it in the proximity of a magnet so when the coil moves when when it vibrates the change in magnetic flux around the coil is uh, noticed due to its movement around the magnet and uh, that change in flux is proportional to the velocity and uh, and thus the voltage that is generated is also proportional to the velocity and so in for this type of sensor this is the schematic this is the simplistic design so these are the coils uh, so this is an alternative design we may as well attach the coils here and the magnet may be here but uh, for this one, this particular one, they have what they have done is they have placed the magnet as the mass itself, and the springs are uh, the mass is connected to the springs from the from uh, from the above and uh, from the below, and the coils are wrapped around this magnet. So when the when there are vibration, whenever the magnet is in motion relative to the coils, the magnetic flux changes and the response is generated as in form of a electrical voltage at these two terminals okay so there are various types of seismic sensors that, that are based on these acceleration accelerometers or velometers that are available for us to use so first of all we may talk of geophones these are these it is also called a seismometer it's a velocity based meter and uh, what we do here is this is a spring the mass attached to it and this is a damping uh, medium so whenever there is vibration in a surface or uh, whatever surface it is placed on the mass undergoes uh, it attains some velocity and due to this velocity this uh, there is a voltage that is generated at these two terminals and what this damping medium does is it uh, seizes the motion uh, as early as possible so we do not get we do not set this mass into motion and then it you know keeps on oscillating and then we keep getting this voltage signal so this should not happen it must seize uh, its motion as uh, for within a particular time frame and this time frame must be very small in order for us to get uh, instantaneous readings and uh, now so since there is a spring mass system involved we will have some natural response of the system and typically this response is uh, resonance frequency is around 4 to 10 hertz so in order to operate this uh, measurement device in a linear fashion or the linear region of this geophones are typically above 10 hertz uh, and in this region they are very much uh, usable as a linear transducer the other type of seismic sensors are accelerometer which are based on uh, the accelerate uh, which are based on the acceleration based seismic sensor that I've talked of earlier and uh, as I've told you there is a piezo ceramic or piezoelectric crystal that is placed 
between the mass and uh, base and uh, due to the vibration of the surface there is compression in the crystal which generates some voltage due to piezoelectric effect and that voltage gets recorded so this is a schematic or a diagram representation of what a, a accelerometer might look like so this is a this is the mass and due to the vibration this mass uh, oscillates so is it comes down and depending on the force uh, the depression is obviously come uh, proportional to the force and it causes an extension or uh, in this strain gauge and which can be recorded with with the help of this amplifier and uh, with suitable calibration we may get the uh, correct readings okay so now all of the types of seismometer that are talked of till now are digital seismometers but there are also some analog seismometers so analog seismometers are, are present for for a long time now and they are very simplistic in design so it this is the this is a an analog seismometer that i guess almost everyone might have seen so in this simple seismometer there is this mass that is hanging from the spring and a vertical graph that has been wrapped on a rotating drum so the drum rotates and the vibrations are recorded on the graph itself with the help of this pen that is connected to the mass and uh, this is a more sophisticated design of an analog seismometer it's called a press evening seismometer seismograph generator or a seismometer so this uses electromagnetic effect and records the reading on a photographic plate so it is also an analog seismometer but a more sophisticated one so what are the advantages and limitation limitations of uh, the seismometers that i've talked of in particular and in general how are the advantages and what are their disadvantages first of all if i talk about geophones they are more useful in high frequency vibrations because their natural frequencies are generally in the lower end that like for a typical geophone then uh, resonance frequency is around 4 hertz to 10 hertz and after that their response become linear so we can use them for high frequency vibration detection on the other hand the accelerometric sensors have an uh, have a upper bound and their operation uh, region is generally below some few kilohertz or typically 10 or 20 kilohertz and for below that they are uh, they give a linear response and are are better to use in that region okay so other than that there is uh, the difference in the output they generate so a geophone typically gives us it gives us a velocity with respect to time output so the output of a geophone is a value based on velocity with respect to time whereas for a for an accelerometric seismic sensor the output is acceleration with respect to time for for better analysis we would want to convert the acceleration versus time graph to velocity versus time graph but that can be done with simple uh, with simple computation i guess in integration is since the acceleration is time derivative of velocity so to get velocity out of acceleration time graph we just need to integrate it which can be achieved by a simple integrator in general the advantages include uh, no external pa power requirement since uh, both of these are active transducers second one being uh, the outputs are very easy to work with means they can be easy uh, they are convertible easily by use of simple differentiator or integrator circuit the main disadvantages include they are highly susceptible to noise their uh, limited frequency range and 
frequent calibration requirements okay so after you have got the seismic signals how can you convert it to different amplitude units so as i've told you these uh, velocity and acceleration readings are related so uh, acceleration graph acceleration time graph is nothing but a time derivative of velocity time graph so we can take the velocity time graph that is the output of a velometer of or a geophone and we can time derivative it to get this acceleration based reading and we can integrate this uh, the output of an accelerometer and we can get uh, the exact same readings as geophone now to make sense of the data we use a scale that is called richter scale it can be defined uh, as the logarithm of the amplitude of waves recorded by seismographs so the this is the formula that we use to convert a reading into a richter scale where a is the maximum excursion of the wood anderson seismograph and a not is depending depends a not depends on the epicentral distance of the station so as a matter of fact uh, i'm uh, i will tell you as a matter of fact i can tell you that the a recorded vibration of uh, 6 or more on a richter scale is very severe and it may cause great deal of damage so yeah uh, it's a logarithmic scale so every unit of increase on uh, on this scale means 10 times more uh, intense vibrations now what are the applications of seismic sensors first of all they are heavily used in earthquake detection and monitoring so seismic sensors are placed all along the sensitive fault lines of earth and uh, they there are constant monitorings that that are done by the seismologists and uh, they can provide early warning of potential natural disasters uh, also allowing people to people to prepare and take necessary safety measures they also help scientists study the behavior of earthquakes uh, which can obviously improve our understanding of seismic activities of how the tectonic plates move over the uh, of the seabed they they can also be used to detect underwater earthquakes that may cause tsunamis for as far as industrial applications are concerned they are used in various industries such as oil and gas exploration industries they can be used to create detailed maps of subsurface geology which can help companies locate and extract oil and gas more efficiently further they can be used in health monitoring uh, of the buildings bridges and by detecting vibrations and changes in the structure over time and these sensors can help identify potential weaknesses and uh, prevent some um, structural failures concluding this presentation i would say that seismic sensors are important devices that we used to detect and measure uh, the vibrations of this presentation i would say uh, that these sensors are very much they important are also used for in various the safety uh, applications as of at all uh, and uh, of us so these sensors wants warners of uh, any also they play a critical role in in Our understanding, including this presentation, I would say that seismic sensors are uh, better devices that we use to detect the and measure uh, the vibrations of Earth. And now, uh, in making apart from that, they uh, are also used in various other uh, applications as a daughter. And 